Michael, Corey, you guys ready to feel the glow? Anyone? All right, just me. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. Byron, right, just because Naomi dances, that is not an open invitation for you to do the same. Why? Because Naomi's actually good at it. I can do the electric slide. Who wants to beat Naomi in a dance contest? Oh, no. Don't say it. I really did. Did you pull a muscle? She's got nothing on me. This is a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion and one of the best all-around athletes in the entire WWE Universe. But she continues to back everything she's done in the past up with substance here in WWE. Never shies away from competition, always seizing the opportunity to get better. That's what feeling the glow is all about. It's boss time! And here comes Sasha. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Payne. Sasha Banks has made a great deal of history here in WWE. Competed in the first ever Women's Hell in a Cell match, multiple time Raw Women's Champion. You should get one of those uh, rings that say graves on it like Sasha has. I'll pass. Well, you're looking at the future right here. And their partner from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best. Just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. When you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey, Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. Here comes the Riot Squad! And their opponents, Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, and Liv Morgan. The Riot Squad! WWE could use a little anarchy. Would you agree, fellas? Uh, I don't agree with that. I get nervous whenever these three are around. Yeah, the Riot Squad's always about having a little bit of fun as well. Byron, I swore to Ruby I wouldn't tell. It was your suit in the shower. Plenty on the line here in this huge three-on-three -three matchup. And with the women's division as white hot as it is right now, you just know this match is going to be one for the ages. High angle, belly to back suplex. Nice job by Ruby Riot in there. If this ref can't do his job, let's get one in there that can. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, please.
strategy. Naomi looking a little shaken. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Well, it would be crazy to expect her to go through this entire match without taking on some punishment. I don't even think Saxton thought that would happen. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it's still early enough for her to get back into this thing. Naomi going to work now. She wants this win bad. When you see Ruby Riot, you know that Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan are close by, just waiting to strike. And that is something that every competitor in the women's division must combat against. I don't like what you're insinuating, Cole. Ruby knows that when you're dealing with privileged people, the odds are often in their favor. Logan and Morgan even the score and pay immediate dividends. The kick gets her. Stump puller, oh. big snap. Oh, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Great move. I'd like to elaborate on my point about Ruby Riot's expertise in playing the numbers game, gentlemen. The result is the Riot Squad is running roughshod over the entire women's division. Well, we know that these unprovoked, often blindsided attacks are just going to continue, Michael. I don't know if there's anyone who can put an end to the Riot Squad's brutality and chaos. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Up and down! What a slam! Here's Ruby Riot. You gotta believe this one's over. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Ruby Riot and her cronies in the Riot Squad have made a big impact on WWE ever since they joined the main roster. These are three women who have an axe to grind and they're coming out swinging. the neck talking more about ruby riot and the riot squad's reign of terror they brutalized the entire smackdown live women's roster their first night and have kept up that chaos on raw ruby riot sarah logan and Liv morgan will spend the entire day riling up everyone backstage but the riot squad's all about pain once they're in the ring now that's what i call squad goals look at sasha Banks dishing it out a boss in control she drops her with a fierce takedown. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. Going after the back here. Oh my goodness, crushing it! In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a... There's a pin now. And Bianca Belair with a quick kick out. Yeah, this early, no chance. Sarah Logan's strike hits the mark. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches in early. Bianca Belair, big move coming. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Uh, Bianca Belair comes up big there. Victory is on the horizon. Well, oh, she wants this win bad. She wishes she could have gotten out of the way of that one. She's on the defensive net. Look at this. Kick out. Not yet. Too early. Nice move. Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the 
EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, and the baddest around. Did you hear the impact of that headbutt? Rip it in the eyes and the face! Von Erich-esque. Legs taken out by the Russian leg sweep. Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? Abs, Bianca Belair, big move coming. That'll have you worrying about long. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. What a maneuver. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Digging deep for a kick out. Not yet. Sasha Banks is tagged in. Sarah Logan was just able to get out of the way there. Comes in off the tag. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. Sasha Banks finds herself in a tough spot. Oh, man. You got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. She is on fire. Liv Morgan sizing it up. Unbelievable move by Liv Morgan. What's going to happen now? Sasha Banks is in a bad way now. The boss looks terrible at the moment. Tagged in. There's no recovery from that. Look out. There she goes. Bianca Belair with a strategically placed shot. She's starting to feel the pressure. She really needs to think about making a tag, guys. This woman has absolutely no quit in her, guys. Taking on a little offense like this isn't going to end her night. I can assure you of that. Oh, oh straight forearm. She got her with a reversal. Warm up the buses. This one's over. Back in from the floor. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Liv Morgan sizing it up. 201 face breaker. She can end it here. Can she keep her down? And she gets her shoulder up. That's all right, Cole. Oh man, she's rolling now. Gets the tag. Goodness, what a takedown. She's not wasting any time. Got it. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. She's beginning to take some heat here. We've got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. This isn't your traditional tag team match, guys. These matches require a slightly altered game plan. Spear! Here's her chance. How is Sarah look? Will she win it here? Oh, oh my goodness. Crushing it. And the shoulder's up. She's still in this one. Look at her go. What's Sarah Logan putting together here? worrying about long-term injuries for sure. That's it. That's what she needed. And she kicks out at two. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye-to-eye -eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. 
If that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Drops the knee with a vengeance. Look at this. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. I gotta say, guys, Bianca Belair has wasted little time making a name for herself. I mean, from the minute she walked through the door, the entire women's division stood up and took notice. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Oh my goodness, crushing it! Well, she wants this win bad. Ow, that hurts! Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. As Byron mentioned, Bianca Belair's impact has been immediate. From her very first match in the 2017 May Young Classic, Bianca has been opening eyes. Yeah, and it's worth noting that Bianca Belair, big move coming. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, and there's a wick. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. That's all she wrote, fellas. Here we go with Ruby Riot. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. So damaging. Taken out with a pile driver. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Ruby Riot is not inch. She goes for the cover. One. Pins broken up. Liv Morgan just barely got out of the way. Not playing any games. Look at this, Byron. Perfectly, and we got a cover. She's almost out of it. Two, just before three. That was real close. It's gonna take more than that. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Connecting with a good shot. Look at this. She connects with a beautiful dive. Now she just needs to finish her off. Now it's Ruby Riot. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. She goes for the cover. One. Kick out. Wow. Tagged in. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Punishing strike. Oh, what a knee. Man, oh, man. This is it. This oh, what a knee. Man, oh, man. I bet you feel... She goes for the cover. Nice job. What an amazing six-man tag match. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. From the opening bell, this match was one for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. no doubt about it that's a big pinfall win right there when you bring such a high level of intensity to the match good things are bound to happen to you and i'd say that match certainly lived up to summerslam's historic and prestigious past